Where did I put that sponsor? Oh, there it is. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Kato again with another third-party Transformers review. Today, I'm going to take a look at Magic Square's Legend Scale MSB07A. It's their take on a Legend Scale sideswipe figure. They released one very early on. This is a recolor, their metallic version with a new head sculpt. I, I missed out completely on the old one, so I was excited to get this one. Uh, I want to apologize. I, I've changed my format over viewing lately where I open up with me in front of the camera but honestly i've been a little under the weather lately so we're going old school for this one real quick i want to say a thank you to all my channel members whose names you see scrolling up on the side here if you're interested in becoming a channel member click the join button below the video or the join link in the description let's take a look at the box I always like Magic Square's packaging. It looks very old school, G1. You got the uh, red cannon uh, side swipe here on the front with his shoulder cannon and gun there. Love that artwork. You got Magic Square on the side, alt mode on this side. Uh, nothing major here except for some more artwork on the back and stats here. I, I, I like their nod to the old school boxes by doing that. Very cool. Inside the box, you get the instructions. Really simple transformation, but a little frustrating. I'll go over it here in the review, but the instructions do get you through it pretty well. Of course, you get his gun done really well. Silver uh, paint, actually, and it just slots right into his hand. Nothing real special here, but it looks, uh, man, that focus is terrible. There you go. But it looks good. And, of course, you get his shoulder cannon again painted in that same silver. It has a little swivel underneath here, and it just tabs into his shoulder. Uh, left shoulder is best, even though there is a spot on his right shoulder. But, yeah, the left shoulder, it tabs better just because of how this is angled. That takes us right to the figure. The Lambros have always been a couple of my favorite figures, Sunstreaker especially, uh, and Sideswipe, the, the twins. I really am a huge fan of Sunstreaker. I've mentioned that before on the channel. And just to me, you can't have one without the other. The big difference between the original, which I don't have, is that head sculpt, which in this case looks, I think, stellar. Let me get let me get this cannon off of here so you can see it better. But yeah, you've got his blue eyes, which are really hard to see here. But there you go. You can catch a glimpse of it there. Nice deadpan expression, his little horns on the side. I think that's spot on. I, I saw the original head sculpt, and that was pretty tragic. Uh, articulation is pretty much just 360. It's on a little peg there. So I, I, I don't know. Maybe they'll reissue just the head sculpt uh, out to folks who want to swap it out, but I doubt it. But they're pretty affordable anyway, so it's worth just getting the new figure again, especially for the paint. You got that nice Lamborghini chest there with the silver headlights, silver right at the abdomen, the little triangle there on the crotch, silver paint, all metallic looking going down the thighs. It's much more lively looking than the original release from what I've seen. Silver here on the front of the shin, black plastic, silver toes. And yeah, I got the nice Lamborghini triangle here on the side. Get his gun out of his hand. Got that on this side as well. Backpack, super slim, metallic blue windshield. Uh, you've got the back of the car here on the legs. I think that works out really well. He stands pretty good. I do sometimes struggle getting him to stand up, but it's not really that big of a deal. We'll look more at the wheels and stuff as we get into alt mode. Articulation on the rest of the bot. You've got rotation. It's a ball joint here at the shoulder, so you can look up or head up about that far. God focus swivel 360 nice tight really tight actually uh elbow or upper bicep swivel he can go well over 90 degrees there on his uh, elbow bend and the rotation at the wrist as far as the waist goes of course 360 rotation there and a really decent ab crunch if you want to use that hinge right there i think that works it works really well, actually. Going down to the legs, you have a ball joint at the hip for up, back, and out. Rotation at the upper thigh on a mushroom peg. 90 degrees at the knee, and the toes will go down, up, and ankle rocker. All in all, 
pretty good articulation uh, for such a little guy, especially to be one of their older molds. They really did a good job on this. The you know, one thing I struggle with in robot mode is the legs want to come untabbed. This little transformation joint wants to slide out a bit too much. So that's one little flaw that I get while you're fumbling around with it. It's not super loose or anything. It's not going to shake loose, but just when you're maneuvering it around, sometimes that'll come untapped. But in general, robot mode is, is pretty spot on for a little guy. I mean, really looks good. Nice and clean. Not a lot of caps. Everything's where it's supposed to be. Love the head sculpt. Yeah, pretty perfect little legend sideswipe. For a quick size comparison, there he is with Magic Square's Optimus Prime and their Nissan Brothers mold. That's Prowl. There he is beside fellow Lamborghini Breakdown. The transformation is pretty straightforward. First thing you want to do is take the cannon off his shoulder there. You want to get the arms straight. Rotate them just a quarter turn in. You could do this later, but yeah, you may as well do it now. You're going to get the chest and lift that up at the hinge here. And then it's going to slide down and then rotate the whole thing over his head. Now these joints are really tight, so it's gonna take some maneuvering, but you've got the wheels here on the inside. You're gonna spin those to about there, get the arm here, make sure it's all straight, tuck the arm all the way in. Then you can start rotating this piece, this wheel all the way out so that it starts to straighten up there. Then you'll tuck the arm in. You'll do the same thing on the other side as well. Just straighten everything up. Now with both arms tucked in there, you end up with this. You can go ahead and take this top piece here, the hood, get that in there and just slide it down real easy. Now with that done, you want to give a 180 twist at the top. You want to make sure that this little flap right here comes down and stays at the back. Now, as you're messing around, it may want to slide back up. Just make sure that ends up at the very bottom of the car. The next bit, the legs are a bit of a pain, just strictly due to tolerances, but open that up, spin this up, close the toe. I like to bring this out. Mine is really tight, really tight. Bring that out, bring this out you can go ahead and bring the black part of the leg up like that. You know, you will eventually do this to both legs and then tab them all together here. I'm going to do one leg to show you, but you get the idea. Rotate this all the way around. Bring this around like that. Now the tricky part is getting this part here and this tab here around the same time. I like to angle it a bit like that and then slide that in right there. You've got the spoiler that you will bring here and tab that in. Eventually you'll do the same thing to this leg and tab that spoiler in as well. And once both legs are tabbed in up there, you end up with a pretty spectacular Lamborghini alt mode. Uh, despite some tolerance issues, uh, it's it's a pretty fun transformation. And I can imagine it being a lot easier on the original mold with the plastic that Magic Square used to use. But this, I mean, it looks like a little Hot Wheels car. Um, rolling uh, on this can be a bit of a bear because there's not a lot of traction, but you can see it rolls well enough. You've got the nice Lamborghini triangle there love i really do like how this ends up you can see the back of it with a little bit of exhaust tips here for that dual exhaust the wheels are on pins but you can still see the detail of the rim in there these little um, mushroom peg slots that's the ugliest thing about the mold right there is that's just stands out kind of that's not great i don't know how you would fix that in this case but just not that pretty uh, the front wheels tend to be back a little far, so sometimes they'll get caught up and not want to roll if they're not lined up exactly right. 
uh, especially this wheel for some reason. But in general, man, that is a nice, sleek looking Lamborghini. Blue windows. You can see the stripes here. Classic. Uh, looks like I need to spin this up a little bit. I'll fix that, but uh, that will line up a lot better. Blue windshield, silver headlights. Cleans up really, really well. For a few quick comparisons, there's Red Cannon alongside the Magic Square's Optimus Prime. Their updated Blue Streak Metallic. And Breakdown, their other Lamborghini mold. And it's funny, the lower half of the cars on these transform about the same way, but this one, this Breakdown is so much easier. This extra little flap right here combined with this top piece make it really frustrating, but not not doable. So there you have my look at Magic Square's MSB 07A Red Cannon Metallic, their update to their previous side swipe mold, and it's really good, really worth the money, but I do have a few issues with it. Uh, the leg transformation gets a little fiddly down here, or the leg uh, bits get a little fiddly when you start to maneuver around with it. They want to slide out a little bit. I think the biggest thing is tolerances. So not enough tolerance, then combined with the foot transformation, where at least on my copy is stiff as a board that you, I really need to put something in there to loosen that up a little bit because it feels like I'm going to snap something when I rotate that around. And the tolerance is in transformation of putting the side piece, the little side skirt piece, and tabbing that at the same time can get a bit tricky. More than once, on more than one occasion, the actual hip joint and the lower body came disconnected. Fine, it snapped right back in. It's almost like they were planning this for the Stunicons, the way this separates. But yeah, it unsnapped and I just did the transformation in two parts. Had happened more times than I can count. But paint-wise, beautiful. Uh, the transformation could be more fun, but the head sculpt is great. Uh, the accessories are perfect. The paint looks good. Uh, yeah, it's, it's overall, it's well worth the money. But just know there is some frustration involved in that. Uh, but it's all very doable. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. If you made it this far and haven't subscribed to the channel yet, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, share this out there with friends. Until next time, this is Kato signing out. See you around like a donut. Oh, I'm zoomed in too far.